Welcome back to Misclicks, everybody. We are live now. Um, so you guys are standing around the, the fallen corpses of the of these corpses, I guess the the re dead corpses of these ogres and the ripped apart corpses of what seems to be a a simple farming family. I'm really sad, Neil. Like super, super, super sad as I see these poor corpses of the children. So I need to roll a saving throw versus. All right, stat. give it to me. It's just 20, right? Flat D20. What color is your hair turn for sad blue? 17. It usually just turns red, but Neil apparently decided it turned different colors. For so two higher production value, which, things change. <laughs> <laughs> um, which I like. Yeah, the the 17 is a pass. You managed to stomach the, the, the feelings that are rising up in you, and you, you keep them bottled up inside, and you don't My hair freak is, out. is pulsing slightly blue, but I kneel beside the this grisly scene and start to look around for anything uh, of use or for information. Sure. Um, give me a perception check. Uh my perception is very low. I perceive very little. No, a fifteen. <laughs> you look start looking around for clues, but you're you're depressed and disheartened by everything. Uh, you just can't find anything. I don't find any loot either. Uh, yeah, you do find a uh, some copper coins scattered about on the field, as well as a few silver uh, stolen from the dead bodies of children. I mean, they're not using them. <laughs> it's 15 copper coins and three silver coins. This family seemed quite poor. Um, what was I about to say? Well, if I don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. If you say so, Neil. I turn around to Emma and I go, what are you waiting for to heal me? No need to be rude. Jeez. I, like, go up to him and I hear moderate wounds him. D10 press 1. Thank God for heals. Um, 11. Looking at Kitsune, Kitsune is permanently blind unless you <gasps> can do a cure blindness spell or a dispel magic spell. Uh, Jen can. I Our can cure fox. your dog by the at the end of the day. Fox. By the end of the day? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's a fox! I'm sorry, Kitsune! I um, would do it right now, however, I'm scared we're gonna meet a spellcaster, and I'm gonna need to use my only spell that I have left to cure your dog. So if we happen to do that today, I will have a way to cure him tomorrow morning. Okay. Just make sure to not lose him. <laughs> okay. Uh, we attach a leash to Kitsune. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You'll take a few minutes to to catch your breath and get your wits back around you. Um, you only and... healed me once, Emma. Yeah, you got eleven. Yeah, I'm still injured. How much? By twelve. <laughs> From a scale of one to fifty-four. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I'll do a uh, cure light wound. I think it's just G8. Three. <laughs> Three? Was that a sound effect? Not for me. Oh. <laughs> I thought there was like a spell sound effect, like whoosh. No, no. I thought it was my phone. Uh oh. Cool. We so hear distant music. So you guys I are hear, like carriages. Are we on a road? Yeah, this is the overland with oxen. This is the traveling on the road music. Uh, are, are, are there are there actually people on the road? Well, you guys are on the road. You're about to take off, and this okay. is the closest thing to that. Um, so you guys eventually get your stuff together and start trekking back down the road. When you do encounter uh, a a group of people traveling the other way, it seems to be a an old woman with a covered wagon behind her and there's two oxen pulling the cart 
Um, she looks to be probably 70 or 80 years old, very wrinkled, has like some big warts on her face and a crooked nose. Um, and she smiles pleasantly and waves at you guys as you approach. Hello, old woman. Do that she would see us casting spells from afar? I mean, this is like an hour after you were casting spells. Okay. If you want to cast a spell now, you can go ahead and do it, but, you know. Do I have any reason to be suspicious at all? I don't know. What are your reasons for being suspicious? She's such an old woman on such a dangerous road. <laughs> that is a very good reason to be suspicious. Yeah. Constance paranoia because we're hunting for a hun undead creator person. Mm -hmm. But you're right. Now that you think about it, this is a dangerous road. An old woman by herself traveling on this road? That's a little bit suspicious. All right, I can <sighs> detect magic. <laughs> you cast detect magic. So I would see if she's a spellcaster with this, right? I believe you would. Um, you do notice that she is indeed a spellcaster. And ah! indeed, both her carriage and her oxen are magical as well. <laughs> oh shit. Are Whoa. we sure that I can cast something else? No, I mean, it's very obvious that you cast a tech magic. Um, you can keep casting spells if you want, but, you know, she was waving at you guys and you stopped and, like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> 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 like, hey! I'm like... Say, guys, be careful. She's magical in our carriage, too. I'm casting detect evil. Okay. She points her finger at you and goes, What is that you're doing over there, young lady? <laughs> I'm seeing if you're nice! <laughs> I am certainly just... nice, and I do not appreciate you waving your magic spells around me. <laughs> stop that, young lady. <laughs> do you do it anyway? Do you, do you stop? Uh, no. Does she interrupt me as I'm casting Detect Evil, or is it between Detect it's like, Magic and It's Detect while the, Evil. you're getting your readings on the Detect Magic, because it's not like this instant thing. It takes a little moment for you to concentrate and focus okay. on the so I'm not the losing Detect Evil if I don't cast Detect Evil. Correct. <laughs> Alright, I'm not casting Detect Evil. I suppose. <gasps> but we won't know if she's evil. Yeah, but evil, the thing is, it... yeah, if there's undead, I would find out, though. Is it Graniel? <laughs> That's a different part of the world in a faraway time. Graniel might transcend time, Neil. She travel Ooh. traveled us. <laughs> Maybe it's Granilia. Right. Well, these what? characters don't know what Graniel looks like, so it, it, I can't tell you. I do though. Last question: uh, Would undead creatures radiate magic? Undead creatures would not, in and of themselves, radiate magic. Hmm. They're just undead. They're undead. It, they're this. Okay, so I won't. Uh, yeah, I won't cast detect evil. Mm. Yeah. I just now noticed that Neil posted a picture of Fabio leaning against a bike in our oh, chat, and I you, have no idea why. You missed the conversation. It's our cause. That's what oh, looks, like. looks like. Except he's except Fabio with a beer gut. Did you did you share this with the chat? I, I didn't share with the chat. Okay, chat. We that's what uh, Arcus looks like. <laughs> Probably a little younger looking. Wait, uh, you said Arcus has a beard? Beer gut. Oh, beer gut. <laughs> yeah, no. That's success. sad. That's too. That's sad. Well, you know what? That's that's what she wanted to say. Yes. <laughs> Adia starts considering Arcus's beer gut and thinking about how she's gonna fix him. Here we go. Well, this I've is the picture of Fabio this, for What about this guys. evil old lady? Oh yeah, the lady. Or potentially evil old lady. If, well, let's let's keep waving hi to her and approach her. This guy on screen right now with the beer gut is Arcus. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh dear. Yeah, that is really Arcus. Okay. Anyways, old lady. <laughs> old lady. She you know stops her oxen and says, "What are the five of you doing on the?" Five of you doing on the road at this time of afternoon. It's dangerous to travel. Can I ask one more question? <laughs> no, you said the last one was your last question. No more questions for you, Jen. <laughs> I want to know what she's wearing. Is she, is she seeming like a wizard or a cleric? Neither. I see... She's wearing just, you know, your normal old woman type of clothing. So no particular color like a wizard? She's not wearing, like, blue robes with hearts and moons and stars on them and a pointy hat. Neil, no. I know that wizards have 
color codes for their school. Of she practice. is wearing uh, a gray traveling cloak with, uh, it's not robes, but it's more like a, uh, a toga. She's got a, a kind of a brown and red toga on underneath with a, a gray traveling cloak over it and wooden sandals. Does she have a symbol on her neck or any religious representation? Give me a perception check. Perceive it. I shall perceive. D20 plus 11. 29. 29. Boom. I see wow. her soul. I wow. evil through my eyes. <laughs> you check out the old woman. Part of her is covered by, you know, her clothing and the front of the wagon. Actually, there's no front of the wagon. Her legs are bare. Uh, but you don't see any sort of religious symbols on her anywhere. I think it's a cleric. I think it's a wizard without a school of magic. Eh? Hey? What did you say? <laughs> I said Stop whispering there, to yourselves and come say hello. Is yeah. this how you greet travelers on the road? <laughs> now tell me, how are things? Hello, fair maiden whom we have met. I am Oh, no guest. need for such flattery. I am no fair maiden. I know what I look like. <gasps> A thousand excuses, elder wise one. I am Adia, daughter of Reluna, and we are demigods. <laughs> Here with our friends, the Wood Elves, on a journey to free their their village from the clutches of an evil undead sorcerer. Any who stand in our way shall be vanquished. Oh, Lord Zachthrid. Indeed. Are you familiar? Lord Zachthrid. Oh. Da -da -da. <laughs> da -da. You must be looking for him. <laughs> Are you familiar with him? Can you tell us where he is? Oh, well, I think your friends know where he is. Yeah, he's in our yeah. village. <laughs> he took our yeah. village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well alright, I mean, can you tell us anything about him that might help us? Oh, Zathrid. You might be careful about that one. He commands the very powers of undeath. He is... is he a friend of yours? <laughs> no, no, no. We haven't been friends for a long time. But you were friends with him. Oh, once upon a time, a few hundred years ago. How do we? Were then friends? Oh. A few Excuse hundred me. years ago? How old are you? Why, that's not a proper question to ask a lady. How dare you? And she Have some wood juice. takes her cane and throws her cane at you. <laughs> I it wrong. flies. No, it just like it goes way shy like, to the side of you, and, like tumbles into the dirt, and she rubs her eyes and goes, "I guess my eyes aren't what they used to be." But you watch yourself, cane. Sonny. Yeah, we apologize and go fetch her cane and give it back to her. <laughs> our <laughs> Thank dog you. Was blinded, our fox was blinded recently, and we are. And I'm still stressed out about we it. We totally relate. I was blind, actually, for almost a year. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> yeah, I was. Give, give, got give me your fox. I will, I will help unblind your fox. Bring him oh. here. Bring him here. Uh, a oh, roll yeah. for his trust. She's uh. good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's she supposed to be nice. I, would I don't know. Would you guys That's what an evil fox? person would seem to be, is nice. Do you give her the fox? Uh, demonstrate that you are able to do this. In fact, I didn't even know you could cast spells. What are you going to no, do? She, I can vouch she is a spellcaster. I'm just going to simply unblind him. Her. Her. Oh, oh, her. Yes, yes. I will remove whatever it is that is damaging her eyes. Alright, we offer you our fox. Do anything wrong and I'm going to put an arrow through your head. <laughs> she brings the fox over and ends up sniffing the fox on the nose and goes, hip, 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 at the fox and the and the, oh God, I'm forgetting your fox. Kitsune uh, barks back at her for a few moments. Rough. And Are the old woman says, wait, wait one moment here and turns around like steps into her covered wagon with Kitsune. Uh, and disappears between like the folds of the the wagon covers. I try to glance. Uh, it's really dark in there and really bright out here, and the wagon covers are only open for a moment, so you see nothing. From chat, there's a really interesting question: Are Arcus and Kitsune still enlarged? Uh, the enlarged spell only lasts a few rounds per level, so no, this has been many hours. Oh, okay. It lasts five oh. rounds per level. You're level five. That's twenty-five rounds. That is 25 minutes, so no. It's been, yeah. 
Okay. Can is there I anything you guys wish to do while she is inside with the fox? Can I try to listen in to what she's casting to hear if it's a... Uh... Do you get closer to the tell... cart, or do you stand where you are and try to listen in? Uh, can I listen in from here? You can try and listen in from as far away as you'd like. Okay, I'll try from here to try to know if she's casting cure okay. blindness or something like that. You listen carefully. Do I do a perception check? No, I'm making your rolls in secret. Okay. Um, you guys all kind of wait anxiously outside the wagon, and a few minutes later you hear this, arr, 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 and the kitsune bounds out of the back of the cart, turns around and like beelines towards you, and then leaps into your arms. <gasps> Aww. Yay. Abby, leaps into Abby's arms. Aww. Um, and Hooray. you notice the, the dullness over the fox's eyes are gone. <gasps> she can what see. does the fox see? <laughs> So, it is um, said that the great mystery of what the fox sees may only be solved by the fox itself. At this point, <laughs> the, the fox kitsune starts barking <laughs> and so... thrashing in your arms and starts actually biting at you. At oh no! 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 Dispel magic! It has to get dispelled! <laughs> not yeah. like that. It's, it's biting. It's not licking. It's... <laughs> there we go. That's a first. There you go. Rough. Uh, what you, oh, Abby, no, what are you doing? The kids is trying to bite you. What do you do? You have to throw her off. Oh no! Do do? Emma, I'm... Emma, dispel the evil magic. Yes. I mean, shit. I. <laughs> you put us in this I detect evil, man. I'm doing whatever I'm. I'm detecting evil. That's what you I'm... start casting detect evil. Yeah. She's getting right. okay. So you cast Detect Evil. Kitsune wriggles out of your arms and beelines for the forest um, away from no, you guys. Kitsune. No. Um, okay, pretend she's gone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the spell Detect evil? evil goes off. Where? Who are you? Because it's like a ten foot path that you okay, can detect so evil on. So what I'm are you facing at? First. What? I'm gonna look first towards the dog and then towards the lady. Okay. You look towards the dog. You have to concentrate. It takes like a full minute. And oh you... shit, I look for the lady first, never mind. Okay, so you, you look at the old woman in her cart, and you're focusing, trying to detect evil, and it you're focusing, and you get no, no, no detection of evil from the woman, or the oxen, or the cart, or anything along that path whatsoever. So there's, I don't detect, okay, so there, yeah, what's no gonna... Never lie down. Hmm? Can I do something else? Like, I... What do you want to? I mean, while she's doing this, because that takes a minute. What are the rest of you guys doing? You're all just kind of standing around. I'm sobbing. I, My fox just ran away. I right, run after the fox as soon as it runs away. Right. No, we need to deal with her. What have you done, lady? What have Adia you done? Off. You should have dispelled magic, and I run away. Adia runs off, chasing after the fox. The old <laughs> woman comes back out through the front of the cart and goes, <laughs> "I fixed that fox up right and good, good as new," and she sits back in her cart and starts like whipping the reins and the the oxen start to plow forward a little bit what you haven't fixed the fox it attacks its owner it's no longer blinded that's what you wanted me to do isn't it i what? stand and i notch an arrow and i point oh. it at her. you promised you promised and we're like tell us what you did to her well we'll see if she stops i okay. simply restored it back to its natural state she turned it back into an untrained fox? That jerk. I think the fox recognized you. It left into your arms, didn't you? You must just be terrible owners. Perhaps you had inspelled it to be your slave. <gasps> I don't detect evil out of her. Oh no, you detect <laughs> no evil out of her. That's what I say. <laughs> Um, the, they start kind of moving forward a little bit. I, I demand, I demand you get our fox back. Oh, it's over yeah. there. My knees aren't what they used to be. I can't I keep can't, up anymore. I can't believe you would make such an accusation. She's our baby. Whoa. Well, if you put it that way. She just keeps driving her oxen. They she's starting to like leave you guys behind and looks back over her cart and says, Goodbye, fair travelers. Have a fun day. <laughs> Freaking granny all always messing things up. Should I should we should jump do something? I, I tell you, do, well, you could jump into her car and see what she's got back mm -hmm. there. 
I fire an arrow at the grandma. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, roll the hit. D20 plus 6. Don't, I don't think you should do this. I made a promise. <laughs> 13. Your arrow strikes the old woman. Roll for damage. Kill I'm still her. running through the forest after the D6 or D4? D6. Two damage. Okay, uh, roll for initiative. Anyone who wants to participate in the following combat. I'm like, um, what is going on? Why are we attacking a non-evil granny yeah. right now? <laughs> and then I can no, walk away. Okay, I should not. My I'm... granny, I'm not part of this. The hot guy over here is not part of it. <laughs> I'm still running through the forest after the fox. And if yep. I lose sight of the fox, I cast Pattern Weave, just FYI. Okay. Um... <laughs> Give me that uh, D10 plus 7, Zane. And, oh god, I'm going to butcher this again. Ayala. No, I think I say, what are you doing? Stop. Don't. Okay. Yeah, Ayala opts out of combat. Yeah, I don't want to be in combat. Okay. Oh, so are we not attacking? Uh, I don't know. You rolled initiative, Emma. You're I think attacking. I'm going to try and stop him from i'm gonna say what the heck are you doing chill out i want to see what's in her carriage honestly there's some crazy stuff back there okay. but you shot her you didn't check the carriage <laughs> why right, shoot so the carriage she she goes first anyway she rolled really well on her initiative holy she crap grandma stops the reins turns around her eyes kind of roll up in her head as she speaks a few words of magic and i need um i need zane Alea, Alea, Ayella. I will never get this right. I'm sorry. Like old Yella, except Ayella. Ayella. Okay. Ayella. Ayella uh, things. Zane, Ayella, Emma, and Arcus. All four of you need to give me saving throws versus spell. <gasps> so that is a a d20, and you want to roll higher than. Well, it depends on who you are. Uh, well, Zane and Ayella, you need to roll a 13 or higher. Arcus, you need to roll 14 or higher. Did Emma, you need to roll 15 or higher. Yeah, I, I'm screwed. One roll of 20, one roll of 9. So one of us is which? not. Uh, I guess it'll go in order. So Zane and then Ayala. Okay, so Zane, you... Sorry, it's how we're doing it. Okay, so Emma and Ayala, you guys are find your bodies slow to a halt, and you guys are frozen completely in place, unable to move Yikes. or act. But Arcus and Zane are free to do whatever they want, and Zane, it is your turn. Um, now, how much of a threat is she right now? Can That's I foresee your it? your judgment. Okay, how far away is the cart? 30 feet. 30 feet. 30 feet? Yeah, she just started getting down the road. Okay, so can I make it to the cart and, and do something in this turn? Yeah, you can move like uh, 60 feet and do something, or move 120 feet and around. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off of the carriage and run over to the cart, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do my best to uh, knock her out. So I'm gonna take my bow and I'm gonna try and strike her across the head with it. All right. So you make your way through the back of the cart, bow in hand. Come out the other, throw the front, and go to whack her in the head with the bow. Give me a roll to hit. Uh, D20 plus. Yeah, let's just do twenty twenty plus three. Let's see you can you're proficient with smacking with bows. Plus three? Yeah. Uh no, five, because back attack on the old woman. Oh, okay. oh, oh natural oh, one. My natty one. Oh my god. Give me a, a flat d twenty to see how badly you you messed this up. Oh, oh my god, oh, give me another d twenty. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. Jeez. So you're coming in here, you get your bow to whack her, your bow gets caught you, you swing it forgetting that you're in a cart and it gets caught like in the, the rafters above you, rips out of your hand, you fall on your face, and a <laughs> potion tumbles off the side of the cart, landing on you, breaking on you, and you get covered in a magical potion. What is it? This I got is bad. It heals you. <laughs> <laughs> no. It does not heal you. I can promise you that. Oh my god, this fight. Um, I guess, Arcus, you're trying to stay out of it, right? Well, I'll say something. Yeah, go ahead and say something now while I'm looking up the right potion. Okay, I'm like, Granny, please, <laughs> this is a misunderstanding. Do not arm us. We will not arm you. Please stop attacking her, little elf. <laughs> you crazy maniac. <laughs> he hurt my dog. 
fox. 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 It is. It is. Oh wow. You guys. She is not evil. We detected evil on her. She is not evil. This is a misunderstanding and a mistake. It is an oil of slipperiness, <laughs> which is basically like a giant thing of astroglide. Um, so you guys, you were just like covered in this like super slip. Like you try and reach anything as you like go to stand up, you just slip back on the ground, and you're 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 covered in for. a magically slippery oil. Zane might die today, guys. It's no. a possibility. <laughs> Look how scared Ayella is. Don't um, die, Zane. Yeah.